Yo, yo, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Kelvin with Behind the Bench. Salute to everyone out there. Hope y'all blessed and doing well. Big shout out to Shy, JB, Jermaine. Check out their videos. Like, subscribe, share as we continue to try to grow and move forward and do this thing. All right, so I was on my laptop and I was checking out the standards in the NBA and I see that surprisingly there are some nice young teams that are coming up and they're at the top of the standards and they leaving these old teams in the dust it's good to see it's good to see these young teams finally getting they just do you know um see what what has happened is these young teams they're taking the long route building their team through the draft and stuff like that. And they took their lumps early, but now they're starting to turn around and get it going. See, and that's good to see. Now, I want to say this. JB was in our, you know, our little chat group, our sports chat. We talk basketball and sports. And y'all hear his videos he put out also. He said something a few years ago that's very, very true that's always stuck with me. And he said that when the super team started in 2010 with LeBron James, he went to Miami. When he made that move, uh, forming super teams, it distorted history. Not not only did it distort history as far as a competitive balance, because you don't know who's really great or not because y'all joining up and just slaughtering the competition. Also, what the Super Teams did, it distorted history as far as the younger fans who just started watching the NBA during that time period. They think that that's how teams are built, taking shortcuts, forming Super Teams with older players or established stars. They think that's how you have long-term success, when actually that's not true. If you look at the history of the NBA – all your great teams prior to 2010 that had success for a long period of time, that cornerstone of their team was built through the draft. You can go back as far as you want to go. You can go back to the 60s with, you know, the Celtics who were dominant with Bill Russell. Bill Russell was a draft pick. His supporting cast, all those Hall of Famers that they had, Sam Jones, uh, Kuzi, Havlicek, uh, Heinsohn, all those supporting cast players, they were drafted. And even the Lakers in the 60s, even though they didn't win, Jerry West and Elgin Baylor, two great players, two great Lakers, they were losing to the, uh, the Celtics in the finals and stuff like that. They had success, team success, and they were getting to the finals. But the cornerstone of their team was built through the draft. Jerry West was a number two pick by the Lakers. Elgin Baylor was a number one pick. Elgin Baylor saved the franchise. And that's how they had long-term success. You know, even though they didn't win. Now, later on, yes, they traded and got Will Chamberlain in the early 70s. Will Chamberlain was older. Jerry West was older. Elgin Baylor was older. And they won a title, but... Their success long-term in the 60s, even though with no titles, they were a great team, was built through their two cornerstone players that were drafted. And that's how all teams throughout history prior to 2010 was built. People always talk about all the Lakers and the Celtics of the 80s and uh, these great teams, they were stacking the deck and stuff like that. Nah. No, they did not. Uh, despite where you, you knew booty Laker fans who really don't know the history, despite what y'all think, 99% of the stars the Lakers had, they were drafted. Okay, now Kareem, they got via trade. They traded Junior Bridgman and some other players, but they drafted Junior Bridgman. If they didn't have a draft pick, they wouldn't be able to get Kareem. They trapped uh, Junior Bridgman, I forgot who else, and they traded and got Kareem. 
And then they added supporting cast players through the draft. Michael Cooper was drafted. Okay. Magic Johnson later on. He was drafted. Uh James Worthy. No, yes, they got lucky. Uh Gail Goodrich was drafted. Gail Goodrich signed with the the New Orleans Jazz. The Lakers got back their draft pick. And they got the coin toss. They won the coin toss. And that's how they got Magic Johnson. The Lakers traded with Cleveland. Uh, I forgot the player. I think his name was Ford. I'm not sure who it is. But they traded. And they got Cleveland's number one pick. And they drafted James Worthy. That's how they got it. Uh, later on, Shaq. Shaq was one of the only guys, I believe, who came a superstar player in Lakers history, I believe, who came via free agent. That's it. Kobe. Kobe was gotten through a trade on draft day. They traded Vladi Divac, a player that the Lakers drafted. <laughs> you see how all that stuff work? If you don't have your draft pick, you can't get a Kobe Bryant. You you know, you you don't draft Vladi Divac. You don't have that to give away. I mean, not give away, but trade away to get Kobe. The Celtics in the 80s, they drafted Larry Bird. They had the number one pick in the draft. They traded with the Warriors. They get Robert Parrish. They got back a pick from the Warriors. They used that pick to draft Kevin McHale. That's their cornerstone players. And they won titles in the 80s. They had long-term success. With their foundational players being draft picks. And then, of course, you, the ancillary pieces around the role players, you might do a trade here and there or a free agency, and that's fine. But your cornerstone pieces are found in the draft. That's how teams were built. The Spurs, Tim Duncan, draft pick. David Robinson, draft pick. Ginobili, draft pick. <laughs> you see, Tony Parker, draft pick. These guys weren't joining together. They were drafted, and they built over time. The Pistons, Isaiah Thomas, draft pick. Joe Dumas, Dennis Rodman, draft pick. They won two titles. Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan, draft pick. Horace Grant, draft pick. Scotty Pippen, draft pick. Them guys weren't joining together. Then, yeah, later on, they traded, I believe, Will Purdue. It was a draft pick also uh, to get Dennis Rodman, if I'm not mistaken. And even the supporting cast players they drafted. B.J. Armstrong, Stacey King. Uh, who else? Those, those, are, you know, those are draft picks. Those are supporting players, draft picks. The Golden State Warriors. Steph, Clay, Draymond. They won four titles. They had success over a long period of time. It was done via draft. That's how you build your team. Taking shortcuts with super teams, you might get lucky. But in the long term, you're going to lose. Your franchise is going to be done. And that's not the way to go. So I'm happy to see that these young teams are finally getting they just do. The Orlando Magic, I believe they're a two seed. They won eight in a row. Uh, the top team in the East is Boston. Boston, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, draft pick. That's their two cornerstone players. 76ers, MB, draft pick. And go on and on and on. Denver, they three cornerstone players, draft pick. Jokic, Murray, Porter, Porter Jr. You know, OKC, they done a great job with uh, Shea Alexander, Chet Holmgren, and the other young players they got. They got that via the trade with uh, Paul George, and they drafted, you know, players around Shea. And I'm glad they whooped the Lakers' ass tonight because it's showing you. It's showing you a good lesson. In the end, in order to have long-term success, it's better to build your team through the drive and build around it with veteran players and trades and stuff like that. These shortcuts and super teams, it's time for that to end. It's time for that to get weeded out. We sick of it. We sick of these guys taking shortcuts. I'm not pulling for any super team. Phoenix Suns, none of them. 
it's good and it's time for the young teams to take over. These teams that built the right way by the front office, let them shine, let them have success. So we can get back to normal, good basketball, good competition, good rivalries with teams that are built the right way. Minnesota Timberwolves. Who else? Let me look and see who's in the top of the uh, West. Minnesota, Anthony Edwards, Cat, Draft Picks, Denver. I just spoke about them. Oklahoma City Thunder, Young Cats. They were drafted. All three teams in the West, organic, natural, built teams via the draft. I can't say no, no planner than that, man. You know, but shout out to all the young teams. Continue success. Hope y'all take over the league and keep shining. It's time to get this super team stuff out. We tired of it. We sick of it. Let's get back to real basketball. Let's get back to real team building. The league will be healthier and the league can move forward. From the super team garbage. All right. Just wanted to speak on that. My name is Kelvin. Salute to y'all out there. Y'all be good. I'm out.